just so you're doing your usual thing, kind of looking at the box score, what's the first thing that, that jumps out of you from it? Uh, we forced 18 turnovers. There's a few things that stood out. We got nine more shots up than them. It was tied on the boards. We had 30 assists. That shows us a locked-in team right there. So I think we were locked in all night on both sides of the ball. And um, we was able to get a, a nice cushion early. And, you know, they're a championship-quality team, so they're going to fight back and get to the game. So we uh, weathered that storm when they cut it to 10, cut it to 8. We was able to make big shots and get big stops. And um, great team win for us. Kevin, as, as recent as maybe, you know, a week or two ago, it'd be you guys would have a hot start, you know, maybe give a bit of the lead back in the second, third quarter, and then come a little bit down to the wire. Just it seems like these past few games when you guys have had a lead, even if they've punched back, you guys have answered and it hasn't really gotten there. Just where do you think you guys have grown in that aspect? Uh, just staying poised. Um, sometimes you want to win too bad and you end up uh, – pressing and forcing a bit, especially um, when things are going so well in the league, it could turn so fast. You know, a team can go on an 8-0 run, 10-0 run, and uh, rain on your parade, you know. So um, we just stayed poised. We didn't get too high, too low, and we was able to, uh, you know, cruise to a win. Two quick ones for you, Kevin. 45 to 45 on the rebounds, just for that to have been an area that you guys have been struggling with basically all season. What went into you guys being able to tie them on the boards tonight? Uh, a few, uh, I'm going to say almost a month ago, um, Jock put up this box out stats for us, and um, a lot of guys didn't like where they were as far as percentage of, you know, just boxing out, not even grabbing rebounds, just putting a body on somebody. And I think since then we've been making a conscious effort of just trying to touch somebody up when they run into the glass and all of us trying to gain rebound as well. So... Last few games has been doing has been uh, has been solid for us. I think everybody's locked in on that side of the game, and that's something we can't have slippage on. You know, we got to be there every possession. And second, Bucks are a team where you know even if Middleton is out, they've been together for so long where they know how to play. They've run the same system. You guys have had guys in and out of the rotation all year, even maybe multiple years. You guys have had guys in and out of the lineup. Just what does it say for you guys to be able to beat this team and show kind of your continuity and chemistry building over the season? Uh, you got to give a lot of credit to our coaching staff for getting us prepared every day. You know, I think uh, we put in uh, the right amount of work every day in order for us to be a, you know, uh, solid team on both ends of the floor. You know, we watch film, we walk over stuff. So, you know, I think the coaching staff has done a great job, and I think guys just, you know, want to want to buckle down and just get better. You know, it's as simple as that. Kevin, you guys have been piling up a lot of wins over the last couple of weeks, but both you and Jack said this is a championship team playing against the Bucks. What does it do for the confidence of the room to get this win on top of what you all have been doing? Uh, that's good for us. You know, it's good for us to keep stacking days. Uh, we respect Milwaukee, and we understand how dominant they've been this season. Um, so we wanted to come out, and we understand that everybody was watching this game, everybody came to this game, um, looked at this as big in a regular season game. So I think we try to approach it that way. I know those guys play extremely hard every every night, play physical every night. So we just try to match that. And, um, you know, they, they play a playoff-style basketball every game. So it's on us. it was on us to come out here and match it and play our brand as well. And, you know, uh, we've been trying to stay at that level, you know, as consistent, you know, as much as we can. It's tough to do in the regular season with injuries and, you know, it's a it's an ebb and flow in the year, but uh, on the season. But we try to stay locked in as much as we can. Kevin, when TJ came back, you were kind of quick to say, you know, he's been off for two years. Let's give him some time before he gets in a role. But, you know, four of his first five, five games have been in double figures. You know, it seems like the past two, he's given you guys some clutch shots when, when either you or Kyrie have been on the bench just – has he surprised you at all, given how quickly he's shown something? And, and what have you seen at him in this in this recent stretch, even a small sample size? Yeah, I, I wouldn't say I'm surprised. I mean, we all know he can score with the best of them. He's, I think what surprised me actually was his uh, how, how good he is, um, you know, deflecting the basketball on defense, sliding his feet. Um, you know, scores like him really don't get that rep on defense. But I think he's uh, somebody we could rely on to guard up and uh, make an impact on that end. Um, but... You know, he's a natural. I thought it was going to take him some time just to get his legs, his win, his confidence back, but I was wrong about that. Um, you know, hopefully he keeps it up, you know. Uh, coaches trusting in him, teammates trusting in him. Six rebounds tonight, that, which is huge for us off the bench. So, you know, he's been playing well. We need him to keep it up. 
Kevin, uh, Royce had five threes, I think three of which came after he set a screen for you when the Bucks sent two your way. Is that something you guys were, like, expecting in terms of how you were going to be covered coming into this game, or did you guys kind of dissect that, or you really uh, dissect that on the on the fly? Yeah, I think that's something we've been running for the whole season. Um, quick slip out for three. Me and Joe do it a lot. Me and Kyle have done it some. Uh, me and Royce worked on it. Uh, you know, I just think that's just a part of our package as, a, as an offense, and... Um, you know, the first few we wanted to see how they played that, and they they jumped out and left Royce's body, and was able he was able to get some space and shooting and shot it with confidence. And, you know, Royce made some huge shots there for us in the fourth, and I think those players where you can get open and knock down the three that gives you confidence. Uh, having so many guys that can pick and pop like this, what does that add to your offense? Uh, just just you know gives us a just a new look. You know, late in the clock, for example, somebody may run up and slip out of a screen. They might they might. Um, you know, show two on me, and now we got a good shot late in the clock. So it's something that we can, we don't want to rely on too much. Um, but we also know we got that in our back pocket just in case we don't have much going on the offense and that possession. So uh, we practice that, we work on that, and it's on me to deliver the pass or whoever's in that pick and roll situation to deliver a good pass. Uh, ben, and the way he played tonight, guarding Giannis, pushing the pace, just what did you see from him on both ends of the floor? He was incredible. You know, 12, 11, and 8, three steals. I think his his aggression was good all night. Um, a couple of those fouls I don't think were fouls, but it is what it is. If you're playing physical, it might be some questionable ones there. Him and Giannis, Giannis the most physical guy in the league, so it's going to be some questionable ones there. But um, I think he stayed with it all game and was able to, you know, make life tough. And I think we all did a solid job of, you know, showing him a crowd a little bit, making him kick out and force him to turn the ball over, seven turnovers. So Ben was the catalyst for that. And um, we're going to need that going forward.